we have a reversal. Is that a surprise? No, we are not in phase four and we're not quite ready for phase four yet. We're not quite ready to boldly Hello everyone, Steve Courtney is pretty sure that a new wave trend is happening and in Bitcoin is shares the strategy to deal with it in this video. Subscribe now, hit that bell icon and embark on an enriching journey toward financial success. Let's unlock the potential of these markets together and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Welcome aboard. With so much attention focused on short-term price moves, Bitcoin's imminent block subsidy halving received surprisingly little consideration. Today is the eve of the BTC halving, and the market appears to have formed a clearly defined baseline support level around the recent lows. Trading firm QCP Capital wrote in part of its latest Asia Morning Color Market update sent to Telegram channel subscribers. With under 15 hours left until the seminal event, anticipation for a potential rally slowly returned to the radar. We are on the Bitcoin US dollar index and we are on the weekly chart. Above our heads, we've got some price action up here and down here we have the wave trend. Now, what is the wave trend? The wave trend really is about when to buy or when to sell. In other words, when is it overbought and when is it oversold? If we expand the wave trend, then we can clearly see that if you look at Bitcoin's entire history, the lowest that we've ever seen on the wave trend was here at negative 75. The highest that we ever saw was here at positive 120. In other words, we go down into the negative 100 range and we go up to the 130 range. When you're down below here, you're going to notice that the wave trend will have this green territory. By the way, if you want to set up the wave trend, you can go to your indicators, type in wave trend, and this one is by Lazy Bear. Now, what you'll notice is that there are a couple extra features that I put on this wave trend, in particular, the white line. We'll get to the white line in a moment, for, but for now, the settings are put the white line at 24.7 and then put a yellow line on your chart at 85.4. We'll get to those two lines in a moment. But what you'll notice on the wave trend, what comes stock is this green channel here and then this red channel here. Those come automatic on your wave trend. Now, when you set it up, you'll notice that this green channel down here has a very particular message. When we touch this green channel or go below this green channel, it represents the best time to buy during the bear market. Case in point, 2015, touch this green channel or go below at exactly the market cycle low. Fast forward, next market cycle, the bottom of the market was here. We can clearly identify it now. However, live in the moment, these areas are always in fascinatingly difficult to comprehend. Put on the wave trend, we were at or below the green territory at precisely the market bottom, screaming that it's time to buy Bitcoin. Fast forward to the next market cycle. Well, we're gonna talk about the double dip here in a moment, but the next market cycle is the market cycle we're in now. Clearly at the bottom of the market, that 15, 16, $17,000 range, it's easy to see now. It's very difficult to see in the moment. And we use this exact wave trend with these exact settings when we were at the bottom of the market and we gave you the exact rules. We said, look, when Bitcoin is at or below this green area, that's the best time to buy. The wave trend actually gave you two times to buy. Both of them were the market cycle bottoms and we don't even need to roll the clip. We were screaming to buy at 15,000, 16,000, 17,000 when it was fascinatingly unpopular to say that and they literally wanted to throw me in the psych ward. They thought I was crazy. Tilt your phone to the side and subscribe. The high majority of people were against me, but we use this exact chart. The wave trend has distinct powers. On the flip side, on the upside, when we get up towards this yellow line, there's a very particular pattern that happens before we get to this yellow line and after we get to this yellow line. It's a very, very particular pattern. If we zoom in, what we can see is that Bitcoin has just recently gotten up to this yellow line. Bonafide fact, not my opinion. What we can also say based on facts is the last time that we've been above this yellow line 
It's years ago. In fact, we've got to go back all the way to the market cycle top. That's the last time in February 2021, years ago, since we were up here at our market cycle top above this yellow line in the wave trend. And if we zoom out, we've been above that wave trend multiple times, right? in multiple different cycles, but we haven't been above there since the top in 21, and we just got denied from there. These are all bona fide facts. But now, as we look closer at it and we understand, okay, right now we are in our phase three of the bull run, right? Phase three flirts hard with the all-time high and just barely makes an all-time high. That's the wave that we're in now. That's the style. That's the situation of the cycle that we're in now. So we've got to look for similar aspects. When did Bitcoin get up first to this wave trend and what was the situation in the market? Let's get in our time machine. Let's go all the way back to 20. 2012, bottom of the market here. Once we got above the market and we started going up towards this yellow line for the very first time in the market cycle, it was in phase two. You can see the bottom of the market here. Phase one is here and phase two is here. So phase two, we got up to this yellow line and then we're rejected. And we got above this yellow line in phase three, but that phase three, we boldly made an all-time high. We didn't just barely make an all-time high because that phase three quickly led into phase four and phase four is when we really got above here. That's when we boldly made an all-time high. We didn't just barely make it like we do in phase three. We boldly made it like we do in phase four. Now, fast forward to the next cycle. Bottom of the market is here. We rally up towards this yellow line for the first time ever it was precisely right here. When were we at what stage in the market were we at here? Bottom of the market here, phase one here, and phase two here. In other words, in 2012, the very first time we got up near this yellow line was phase two. In 2015, the very first time we got up to this yellow line was phase two. In 2012, we didn't get above this yellow line until we entered phase four, where we boldly make an all-time high. In 2015, we didn't get above this yellow line until when? Until phase four, when we boldly made an all-time high. Keep in mind, this is phase two, this is phase three. Phase three also got rejected by this yellow line, and we didn't get above the yellow line until we boldly made an all-time high. In other words, phase four. So both cycles, 2012 and 2015, we didn't get above the line until phase four. Before those phases, two, phase two, and phase three, we got rejected by this yellow line. Keep that in mind. These are key pieces of information. Fast forward to the next cycle, 2019. Bottom of the market is here. That's when you want to buy. Then we started rallying. Rallying up where? Up towards this yellow line. And then we got what? Rejected. We weren't ready to boldly make any all-time high. We weren't ready to enter anything close to phase four. In fact, we were just in phase one. And then what happened in the market is something very interesting. What I want to draw your attention to is this white line. As I mentioned earlier, we were going to revisit this white line, and I would like you to draw it on your charts. The white line is at 24.6. The yellow line, again, is at 85.6. So white line, what is this white line? Simply put, when we are in a bull market, we hold this white line typically as support. Case in point, 2012. This is clearly the bull run of 2012. And look at our market structure, holding support at this white line for the entirety of the bull run. Fast forward to the next cycle, 2015. This is clearly the bull run of 2015. Look at what the wave trend was doing. The wave trend was holding support at exactly this white level, just like it did in 2012 to the T. In other words, we had the bottom of the market here. We were screaming to buy. Then we went into phase one. We called out that we were moving into phase one. We called out that it would last somewhere around 100-ish days. And for those of you who still didn't buy during phase one, even though we were screaming, if you missed the bottom, you need to buy in phase one because this is the start of the bull run. Even though at the time, the high majority of people said there was no way in hell we started our bull run. Zero chance of the bull run. We're going back to 10K, 9K, 8K, 7K, 6K. We stayed true to the facts. We said this, this is phase one of the bull. This is your last opportunity to buy. And then we started moving sideways for more than 100 days. And then we entered what we called a double dip. We covered it right here on our channel. That's when Bitcoin gives you a second chance to buy. We called it out on our channel when Bitcoin was at around 24,000. That's when we had our double dip. Then we move back above this white line and expect us to maintain the movements above this white line until the market has topped. 
right? Now, Bitcoin is at this stage now where it had its double dip and out of that double dip, it rallied directly towards this yellow line. Now, like other cycles that reached this yellow line in phase two in 2012, in phase two in 2015, and phase one in 2019, we didn't reach up to this yellow line until phase three in this cycle. We didn't reach up here in, in phase one, and we definitely didn't reach up here in phase two. It took us all the way until phase three that we rallied up to this line. Now, we can clearly see that there is a reversal once we got up to said line. This is not my opinion. This is not what I guess is going to happen this is factual evidence tilt your phone to the side and subscribe we rallied up to this towards this yellow line and then we were literally met with resistance and we started to see some curvature down right all factual evidence here what is interesting is if you take the facts that i just showed you which you may be seeing what i am illustrating right now you can start to see a pattern you can start to see a pattern of when we rallied up to this yellow line then you can start to see a precise pattern of when we finally break through this yellow line and when we get above this yellow line is very distinct parts of the market cycle and there's a key story to be told about this yellow line and about our reversal and particularly about our past cycles and what they are screaming at us right now. So let's break it down, right? We can clearly see some resistance phase three. We clearly saw some resistance in 2012, and we clearly saw that same resistance in 2015 on two occasions, in phase two here and phase three here. What all of these are, are saying, right? This rejection, this rejection, and this rejection. We have three key rejections, actually four if you count this 2019. Four key rejections. They all have the same exact thing in common. Do you see what I'm seeing about these four exact pieces of our market cycle? Look at 2012, 2015, 2019. 2015 had two times, phase two and phase three. What all of them are screaming is, we got rejected here because Bitcoin was not ready to make a bold move towards a clearly defined all-time high. What Bitcoin has done recently in phase three is exactly what it's supposed to do in phase three. Flirt real hard with the all-time high and just barely make one. We just barely made an all-time high. We didn't boldly make one like we did here in phase four, where we literally went from around, you know, $25 up to $275. That's a bold move. That's a bold claim. And that's what it takes to get above this yellow line. Fast forward the next cycle. Rejected in phase two, rejected in phase three. We didn't get above this yellow line until phase four when we were ready to boldly make an all-time high. Not just a little cutesy all-time high like we just did, right? Just an all-time high of like 1,000 or 2,000, whatever we just made, a little cute all-time high. No, 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 no. We get above this yellow line when we boldly make an all-time high, like this move. Take a look. We went from about $1,000 up to over $3,000. That's a bold claim at an all-time high. That's a bold move. That's a huge move percentage-wise relative to what we just recently did right? We got a couple percentage points above our all-time high recently. This is a huge percentage, and this is a huge percentage, right? Then you look at 2019. We didn't get above this yellow line until we were boldly ready to make this huge move here in phase four. It's quite literally phase four every single time we get above this yellow line. So what does that tell us? If we look at it, we have a reversal. Is that a surprise? No, we are not in phase four and we're not quite ready for phase four yet. We're not quite ready to boldly make an all-time high yet. Bitcoin will not get above this yellow line until the market is boldly ready to make an all-time high. Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Steve Courtney. If you enjoy this highlight video, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.